This video will show how to create a bullet chart in an OLAP data source using actual versus budget numbers when you don't have separate measures for actual versus budget. Here we have a side-by-side -side comparison of actual versus budget, but we want to have a single bar for each region representing the actual sales and then a reference line showing where our budget target is for sales, or what is more commonly known as a bullet chart. We'll start out by creating two calculated members one that will grab the actual sales and one that will grab the budget sales. So we're going to create a new measure here. Our calculated member, we'll call this actual measure. And it's, uh, it has a left print measure, not sales, comma, scenario dot actual. Your hierarchy may vary depending on your cube data source. Check the formula. Valid. So now we'll create the one for budget. And we'll just paste in what we created before, but we'll just swap actual for budget. Check the formula again. And we're good to go. Okay. So let's create a new sheet here. Let's bring out the actual measure. Let's bring out region. Sort. Next, we'll bring out the budget measure to detail. So we don't want it to be the effect may view just yet because what we need to do next is actually bring out a reference line for each cell and each cell is representing each region. So we change that from actual measure to budget. Should be total. And we're going to darken our line. And there we have it, there is our budget number. Next, we want to put in that bullet portion, which is that graduated value that is representing a percentage of the actual budget. So, we need to bring out in our analytics pane a distribution band, again per cell, which will be for per region. And I'm going to change this to make this. 75 and 90 percent. We don't want it of the actual measure, we need to make it of the budget measure. Make that total. And then we want it to fill above and below. And instead of light gray, we're going to choose gray. Okay, next we're just going to shrink the, the width of the bars. And there we have it. There is our bullet chart. So that's how you create a bullet chart in an OLAP data source when you only have a single measure.